today I've come to the fantastic Sykehouse Fishery. It's close to Thorn near Doncaster and this is a real mecca for carp fishing. What I've come to do today is to fish with the new Mini Muggler Wagglers. These are a fantastic float for catching fish when they're right on the surface, almost mugging them off the top. There's been lots and lots of big weights recorded fishing like this, fishing right on the surface and casting to fish rather than trying to feed them into an area. Now how I've actually set these floats up is with the new waggler weights. These are all printed up with the size of the actual weight on the shot itself and coated with a, a light green colour. So what I've done, I've put two float stops onto the line and then added a one gram waggler weight. The next thing then is to put the float on. So I've put the two gram float on and then another one gram waggler weight the other side of the float then trapped it in place with two more float stops the mini mugglers are 7.5 mil in diameter and are from one gram to two and a half gram so there's a one gram a one and a half gram a two gram and a two and a half gram size float they're finished in clear plastic so they're not very obtrusive to the fish these floats stand out perfectly well because the paint on the top of the float is very thin. The light, even when the sun is behind, shines through the float so you can easily see them even at distance. One thing that is very important when you're fishing a waggler shallow is to stop the float just before it hits the water. This is a case of trapping the line on the spool. So everything with the waggler and also the hook bait straightens out in front of the waggler. And this is how to catch the fish on the drop behind the waggler. The key today is to be feeding regular, feeding constantly with six mil pellets, but only about five or six pellets at a time, constantly making some noise on the water. What's been strange, often the fish come to the splash of the float and the splash of the hook bait, but today you've almost had to sink the line and wait for bites, which is unusual when you're carp fishing up shallow. As I've said, feeding is the key, but also being accurate is also a big thing. Firing the pellets in as tight a group as you can. The catapult that you use needs to be a good quality catapult. Today I've used a waggler catapult that's got a pouch on that groups the pellets. So I've fired the pellets and then cast out to where the pellets are landing. Today I've actually set up three rods with different sizes of float so I could chase the fish around. When the fish are on the surface and you're fishing to mug them, often the smallest little float is the best when the fish are coming close to you. If they're further out from the bank, you need to use a float as big as two and a half gram to reach these fish. When you're using small floats like this, the loaded version of the float casts quite well, but when you've got the shot on the line using waggler weights, the float casts maybe eight to 10 meters further than what it would with a loaded float. This is one thing that I just don't understand because you'd think a float with a loading on the float itself had cast the same as when you've got the shots on the line. But mark my words, it doesn't. The shot on the line you can cast much further. It's 
It is so easy with this setup to actually change the depth and chase the fish around through the layers. Today I've probably moved the float about 20 times and of course if you did this with shot on the line, actually nipped onto the line, it would damage the line. Waggler weights don't do this. I've tried two different types of hook bait today. I've used sixes just in a natural coloured pellet and I've also used some red pellets. When you're fishing shallow, a red pellet stands out and sometimes you can get bites on this bait when you can't on others. There's been lots and lots of competitions won catching carp, mugging them on the surface with a pole. But of course, a pole's great when you can fish up to 16 metres and swing out to the fish. Once the fish move out past the pole line, these mini muggler floats will allow you to catch these fish that are out past that distance. And I'm sure that there'll be lots and lots of times when they'll help you to win matches through the summer months. These mini muggler floats are now available in all Drennan stockies. Once I worked out that I had to wait for bites today, I've caught really well at the back end of the session and it's been another great day at Psych House Fishery. <laughs>